Hello, welcome to another video by Indicator Vault. In this video, we're going to break down uh, this bearish movement by the Australian dollar, Japanese yen chart. We can see, you know, starting here, the wolf wave indicator picked up, you know, a bearish pattern here in the peak. And then lots of bearishness happened here. And you can see I've got the, the easy wolf wave indicator, the order block gen, and of course down here the natural momentum indicator. So let's get into it and just kind of break down some of this movement. So the wolf wave picks up a bearish wolf wave right here. As the wolf wave completes, we see a bearish order block has been spotted by the order block gen. And, you know, there's been other videos we've done where I've pointed out, you know, with wolf waves or uh, harmonic patterns, when we see, you know, a bearish order block or like a bearish zone with a logic day trade form uh, right after the pattern has formed, you know, that is a great confirmation you know, that the direction and that this high should hold. And, you know, we can look for, you know, with the patterns. In this example, a bearish one for this low to be broken. And then ultimately this one. So when we see a pattern like this, we can have some more confirmation and confidence that price will remain bearish and take out both of these lows. So. Using the natural momentum indicator, and when we go to the lower time frame, we're going to see this as well. While it doesn't mark out divergence like the divergence dashboard does, look at what we have here. You see the price makes the higher high, completing this bearish pattern. But what do we have here with the momentum indicator? We match it up this high to here matching up with this high price made a higher high but the momentum indicator does not and so it is actually telling us it you know this is a type of divergence that you can use for the momentum indicator as well that it did not want to make a higher high and so this is also happening with the two confirmations i just mentioned the bearish wolf wave and the bearish order block and then what do we see as well? Not with this first push down, but right here, we see a break of structure. We see this candle close below this low. So, so many confirmations lining up for price to start moving to the downside, start creating, you know, multiple lower lows. Obviously, we see that and we see, you know, with this huge drop here. So, you know, many confirmations with this and, of course, marking out the low. Let's leave that here with this bearish order block. We can expect, you know, after the break of structure, we want to expect a retracement, you know, specifically a retracement into the bearish order block, which we see here. Now, another thing I want to point out with these wolf waves You'll, you'll see this trend line form. And this angle with these waves is going to be a highly sensitive angle that, you know, can be used in the future. For instance, we can see the sensitivity here, right? Price just wicks several times right on it then kind of consolidates and then finally breaks below it. So even though like here would be a first uh, take partial profit, this low here, we ultimately want to see this low taken out. And so a good confirmation would be to see this trend line get broken, right? So we see it wick a few times here, but price doesn't take out this high you know it fails to get the strength to take out this highs instead it breaks below this trend line 
And now it's giving us, you know, confidence that it's going to move lower and eventually take out this low, which we see it easily does here. Comes back up, retest that trend line, does break above it here. But just reaching into this zone here before it completely tanks and goes below creating some more lower lows so let's go into the five minute and then you know see some similarities of this price action here on the one hour and see how these same patterns play out on the five minute all right so here we are on the five minute chart still got the same indicators on um, you know this green line is that green trend line from the higher time frame uh, wolf wave and then remember this yellow line is marking out the one hour bearish order block that forms um, basically right here. This is the high where the bearish uh, wolf wave has formed. So keeping that in mind, when we see like this bullish wolf wave on the five minute, we're not really giving much preference to it because the higher time frame, the one hour has so many confirmations to go bearish, right? The bearish wolf wave, the bearish order block, you know, the break of structure, um, you know, the divergence with the natural momentum indicator. So when this forms just on the five minute, we're not really expecting it to do much. Yeah, we do see some retracement up, but we see it never gets to this high to take it out. So there's not much of a trade going on here. Our focus is on sales. So we're kind of ignoring this and, you know, we see price consolidate. We want to see the retracement back up into um, the higher time frame, the one hour bearish order block that formed here with the wolf wave. So finally, we see that happen. Let me zoom in on it some. Now, what do we have here again? Let me increase the natural momentum indicator. Well, we have divergence again. We see this high and then this higher high right here. But at the same time, the natural momentum indicator cannot make that higher high. So we see divergence again. This is exactly what happened on the one hour. Higher high in price, but a lower high with a natural momentum indicator. And when is it happening? It's happening exactly as price hits the bearish order block. So you could easily have, you know, put an entry right here and maybe have your stop, you know, a safe stop loss would be above that high. You know, not even a 20 pip stop loss there. And I'll increase this later on, but just want to watch price play out some. So, you know, so many confirmations with these, with the divergences on the two different time frames, the bearish order blocks on the two different time frames. You know, and let's say you didn't quite get this one. You want to wait for some more confirmation. Well, you have that again with the break of structure here. Price closes below these lows that caused this high. And then what? Retraces right back into the order block here. So you could have even shorted right here with your stop loss above this high. So, so many, you know, price is fractal. These patterns repeat on multiple time frames. And, you know, it's just a matter of coming up with a trade plan to put them all together and just know what you're looking for with price. So let's go back out to the one hour. And we're bearish. You know, we've got our entry here on the five minute. Just looking for this trend line to get broken, which lines up with this low. You're looking at about a three and a half R to R. Looking for this one, which would complete this pattern over a six R&R, &R, which is an incredible trade. 
And of course, as we see, as I play it out with the replay bar, you know, goes so much farther. If you want it to hold, you know, even longer, if, you know, let's say the daily, we're not going to go to there in this video, but let's say the daily or the four hour is giving confirmation for these lows to even be taken out. And so you hold a, you know, a long swing trade or position trade for this well that's almost a 10 r and r right there 9.4 from you know your super precise entry there and with a conservative stop loss so so many confirmations to go bearish obviously we can see this just continues to tank you know after some retracement but you know huge drop here but so many confirmations and things lining up to go short in this price action here. Just with these few indicators. The Easy Wolf Wave, Order Block Gen, and then some divergences spotted with the Natural Momentum Indicator. So I hope this video was helpful. And until next time, best of luck trading.